There are many communities in Lagos State called Ajegunle, but the most popular is located at Ajeromi Feloudu local government area of Lagos State. That word Ajegunle came from one Sa Adeyemo that you know, came as one of the first settlers and became the first ballet of Ajegunle. He said, this, it be by me, Ajemi Gunlesi. This is where my world resides. It may have been a land of wealth to the founders, but for many who live in Ajegule, wealth is scarce. I grew up as a child born in Ajegule with various challenges. I got out of school several, you know, because of notebook and pain, because of the um, tuition fee, because of the torn uniform. You know, all of this affected me. I was born into Bolidawa's family, and you know, being born into Bolidawa's family is a tough uh, also to run your life. Uh, I remember vividly when I was in SS1, uh, my senior school class in secondary school, I, I have to go to Anjori Market. If you guys know Anjori Market very well, I have to go and do basketball in Anjori Market and to get uh, you know, carry goods for the whites, you know, and to get maybe 20 naira, 30 naira, 50 naira. I use that to sustain my period of uh, educational life period, SS1, SS2, SS3. Despite the high rate of poverty in this community, Ajegule rose to prominence in the 80s and early 90s for its unique music and dance style, producing legendary artists that took over the music industry in Nigeria. In sports, Ajegula people were also on top, representing Nigeria at the national level. We are the first set of people that brought uh, uh, youth football into limelight. The majority of us are from Ajegule. We talk about the names of Tarila Okoro Wanta, Afonso Sakao, the Great Table, the Akaon family, the Patudo family. Over the years, Ajegule has produced more celebrities and successful people in all fields of endeavor. Now we get the art for Ajegule. Come all around and see what we can do in art. Ayota Art Center. First built Ajegule Arts in Ajay, Nigeria. <laughs> now for Ajegule here, then for me. Now for Ajegule here, I grew. Now for Ajegule here, I go to school. And as God we have been today, I work as a civil servant with the Lagos State Government. I pay for the employment. I have over 70 staffs. I, I do so many humanitarian uh, stuff in Ajegule. I don't think J5 has worked with so many big, big liquor brands, likes of NC, Moet and Chandon, you know, Don Perignon, and all that. I was born and raised in one of the biggest cities in the world of Africa, uh, the MDC, culture is the multinational company that is into blockchain technology as well as the multinational company that is into string transport, suspended rail transport system. This is uh, Mr. Onlatoyi Omotagi, aka Man of God. I'm taking you to Jama Romero Limited Workplace. We produce fiber boats. And the company is located in Oludia Papa, area We have fiber boats. We have a sharp mouth. We have bigger sharp mouth. We cover boats now. This thing, people from Togo, they come to Nigeria, they come and do this boat. So you see now. So from Kotonu, they come here also. And even in Nigeria, even Nigeria police, so you see, we are producing, we do produce their boat for them. However, when the name Ajegule is mentioned, what comes to the mind of non-residents is a different perception entirely. 
the population of Ajankunle ought to be decongested with a lot of hoodlums. You cannot walk freely in the streets of Ajankunle without being harassed. It's a rough area, Sha. People are stealing every time, you know. Ajankunle is where those boys, you, you used to stay, those bad boys, they used to stay in that place. They don't have any work to do. Ah, that, that's, where, that's where they do their rugged life. No, you'll be like, you'll be like passing, man. If you, if you are not careful, your pause or your phone will lose. You really cannot train your child there. That's what I believe. I don't know about any other person. We decided to find out from some of the over 1.6 million people living in this community how true this perception is and how it affects their lives. I am an articulate one and I'm not a criminal. So that perspective is quite wrong. You don't generalize a, a, a set of people as criminal. Ajegula is a peace-loving you know, arena where all tribes are cohabiting. There is no area in the country that you do not see that. There is no area in the country that you do not see one crisis or the other. But the fact remains that people feel this misconception because of they've not been privileged to get it. If you can't say because a criminal they or they are jibule, you go say oh, they a criminal. I work as a porter, you know. <laughs> so uh, when we talk about a jibule and, uh, with the, the guys, Parisos, they are Nigerians, but the whole of the fame there were Indians. We were more monitored. They monitor us more as if we want to steal something in the supermarket. You know, it's just like a stigma. Kind of, and so not really nice. When I started the business, the brands didn't want to come to Ajibule. The green brands, they were like, no, Ajibule, no, they didn't want to come. There was this particular um, experience I had, basically because I am from Ajibule. You know, that was the first time I am supposed to travel out of this country for a theatre project. But all of a sudden, somebody just came up with this talk of, ah, this Ajibule boy said, we should say, look, we fall our hand when we travel go out but they always like looking us at, like tau to the guns you know problem as in problem causa or something like that you know looking out looking us from different negative perspective of life you know i've been to a particular area i'm not going to mention lagos where for a job interview and having glanced through my cv i was sent out of the compound i've been to another place again like twice and i was actually sent out of the compound because they believe articulate people they will come and steal some clients they get to find us online so when they see it online and they find out that okay these people are based in ajegule the first thing that comes into their mind that ah this place is a crime area it's a center for violence and all that and it makes them want to withdraw the word ajegule it brings um, this violence to a lot of people so oftentimes i don't introduce myself at first as i am from ajegule because if i do that you know, I have over, over the years missed out on opportunities. As the people of Ajegule work hard to surpass the tough challenges in their environment and strive to become successful, they have just one thing to ask of you and indeed all Nigerians to stop spreading the one sided negative narrative of Ajegule. Stop the downgrade, stop the stereotype, stop the labeling give a regular people equal opportunities and the benefit of a doubt. I am Ayola Fatai Adekunle, the executive chairman of Ajero Fellow local government. I was a former boxer, a former clearing agent in Ajero Fellow local government. I am not a criminal. I don't be criminal. I rep a jigule. I work with a multinational company called Sky Vision Transport Technology. I'm their votary, I'm their creator here in Africa. I rep a jigule because I'm not a criminal. I rep a jigule. I rep a jigule and I'm not a person. I rep a jigule. 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 I'm an education enthusiast. I know book, I know be dollar, and I rep. Actually, we don't have to know 
destiny, me ne go think of It don't make him say we go make him Baba God and sign and say we go rule him Our destiny, me ne go think of It don't make him say we go make him Baba God and sign and say we go rule him Our destiny, me ne go think of We are tell them say no thing, no thing, no thing I'm a talk We don't no thing, no thing, no thing I'm a talk We don't no thing, no thing, no thing I'm a talk Because if they think of my potential say no thing Nothing can matter. Me dey no think, think, think. Nothing can matter. Me dey no think, no think, no think can matter.